I'm going to show you how to use the audio checker to check the function of a Roger 20 receiver. First, the audio checker must be charged. This one is already charged, so I'm going to unplug it from the charger and plug in the headphones. Next, we need to plug in the Roger 20 to the Roger 20 adapter. If you look closely at the adapter, there are three posts, and one of them is a little bit larger than the other two. Have that post on top and facing to the left and pick up the Roger 20 and hold it in this way. Line it up and twist it forward slightly until it's snug. This is the battery pack. This needs batteries. So we're gonna grab that little metal part, put two new batteries in with the flat side of the batteries up. These are 675 batteries. And then we're gonna attach this much like we just did and those little dots are facing that way. Okay, next we need to plug this into the checker. This is basically simulating a cochlear implant just to be able to check that Roger 20 receiver. So we're gonna line up that bigger post with the bigger hole on the checker and it should fit in snugly. Next, we're going to turn on the audio checker, put on the headphones, grab your teacher microphone, and this one's already on and you may hear that little microphone noise when you rub it, or you can give this to someone else to do a better listening check. If you're not hearing it right away, go ahead and press connect to be sure that the microphone and receiver are connected. If you're not sure if these batteries are good in the battery pack, you can use a battery tester or you can just replace them with new ones. If you're still having trouble and you're not getting a good signal to that Roger 20, please contact Audiology.